So today I want to talk about why we homeschool and kind of give you an understanding of how we reached this decision and why we are probably going to continue as long as we are able. Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. So this is Holly with Nestle Valley Farmhouse. So today I feel like this is a video that when I was first trying to figure out whether or not we should homeschool, if it's the right choice, I searched for a ton. So I thought it would be helpful to kind of add our story as of why we decided to start homeschooling and why we want to try to continue to homeschool and just kind of, you know, how the transition began and kind of how it all worked out in the end. So if you enjoy homeschooling videos, mommy lifestyle, and just all around mom encouragement, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be notified every time a new video comes out. So it is so funny how we got to this place. So when my oldest daughter, who is now in um, second grade this year, she's going into third next year, when she was getting ready for kindergarten, I remember doing so much research on potentially homeschooling. So we had moved into this city and we had bought this house like 10 years before, before we even had kids. And one of the things we were super excited about is that the school district is like one of the top school districts in our state. And I just remember being so excited that they were going to go to this really nice school and it was going to be great. And, you know, there were going to be awesome people doing the school thing, you know. <laughs> And it's funny, so we, um, I did like the kindergarten roundup for my daughter when she was five. And I just remember feeling like, kind of having that nagging feeling of like, well, but what about homeschool? And of course, you know, we are believers and we go to church on a regular basis and several of our friends growing up even were homeschooled. And it's funny because I did not have the best experience with these people that were homeschooled. So I was almost kind of like in the beginning, like, no, we're not homeschooling. I don't want my kids to end up weird like those kids were but um but it kept nagging at me so i started like searching youtube and like watching videos about homeschooling and i was like oh, gosh you know it sounds like it'd be a really good idea and so i talked to my husband about it and he was like yeah no so we both were public school kids and um he was just very and i think he was more negatively impacted by kind of these homeschool friends that we had at our church that we went to youth group with than i was and he was just no, I don't want to do that. And I'm like, okay, fine. <laughs> so of course, um, we decided to send her to kindergarten. And I remember just kind of that first day, tears and everything. And part of it is like, am I doing the right thing? I don't know. So we started um, sending, we sent her to kindergarten. And I just remember thinking, but it's going to be the best school and we're going to be involved with the school. So we're going to make sure that like, we know what they're being taught, et cetera, et cetera. And I remember just like the whole time, just still not feeling comfortable with it. But I, I would give myself lots of reasons why it was okay. Like, well, I need my me time. I need, you know, I have other kids at home. Cause at that point I had um, three of our four kids. I think I had my third by then. <laughs> yeah. And, um, but on top of that, we ended up, um, buying property to build a house so we knew we weren't going to stay there for very long and we ended up actually moving into an apartment during the house build because we had to sell our previous house before we could build our new one and um and kept taking her to the same school because i wanted to keep things as consistent as possible so the whole time we're in the apartment i'm still doing research on homeschooling still trying to figure out what the right thing to do is and so i end up um once again, just kind of shoving that nagging feeling down and my husband was really not on board with it. So I just kind of like, okay, fine. We'll just continue with public school. I joined the PTA at the new school they'd be going to once we moved into our house. And funnily enough, that was an interesting experience. First of all, it was kind of not what I expected it to be. I guess I was looking forward to kind of connecting with other moms, which I did meet a few moms but I was shocked at how like uninvolved a lot of parents were. And it just kind of felt like there just wasn't a lot of involvement. Like we literally begged people to come to the meetings and it just like, it just seemed like a lot of parents were interested. And look, I'm not trying to judge here. I know that people are busy, people have lives and you know, it is what it is. But I kind of, fun I find it funny that um, like I just, nothing that I did to try to continue with the public school really 
felt right or I felt like I was able to like feel like I'm doing the right thing I'm connected you know etc cetera, etc cetera. but then the pandemic hit <laughs> and it was like right after they announced that schools were closing I remember driving off to the Dollar Tree and getting a bunch of like um homeschool workbooks and craft stuff and you know pencils pens like all sorts of kind of supplies and I was planning on just doing as much as I could on my own with the kids at home. And then they rolled out distance learning. It was like two weeks later. So I did that kind of on my own for two weeks. And I remember feeling like, you know, this isn't so terrible. Now I was almost due with my fourth baby. So of course I couldn't do a whole lot. And, um, but I just remember like the distance learning was just not that great. And so it's so funny. So finally, still nagging feeling and kind of being more and more like okay I kind of really want to homeschool so I talked to my husband again and he had started listening to a um, popular youtuber that is um, really into like gun stuff because you know my husband likes guns and he um, had like a thing where he talked about his wife and they talked about why they homeschool and it was so funny because I feel like it's almost like a switch flipped and he was like you know what at first he's like I'm not gonna support you well I'm not going to I'm not gonna be able to be involved but like if you want to homeschool I you know I will support you and so at this point the kids had finished their schoolwork and we're like in June of you know 2020 the the year that feels like it never was and I I remember just starting to listening to podcasts and watching YouTube more YouTube videos and just going okay and it was I think we were kind of waiting to see what school was going to be requiring for next year and when they basically decided that they're just going to be doing distance learning anyway we're like fine we're pulling them and at first it was like we're going to take it a year at a time which we still are but I think um I feel like my husband and I both have kind of decided you know what I think this is what we need to do for our kids so oddly enough i have this little journal here and i um wrote into it like over a year before we actually just started homeschooling and i wrote down a why and it's funny because basically this is why i thought that i wanted to homeschool this was like a year and a half ago and it's basically because my kids deserve the best start in life and i feel like homeschool can give that to them so what i mean by that is during this whole craziness, um, I don't want to talk about it too much, but I do have a child with like medical condition that long story short, if there's a complication, she ends up in the hospital. And there was a situation that happened at public school where we had to go pick her up and take her to the hospital because, you know, the condition, the complication happened at school. And I found out that the nurse um, cause our district's kind of on the small side, do, they do not have a school nurse for each school. Like she rotates. And I was like, not comfortable with that. And then I have another child who has basically, um, ADHD tendencies since having that child home and doing the shorter and more body movement and stuff, they have advanced quickly and their ADHD symptoms have, have gotten somewhat diminished. I mean, it's not all gone. It's still she's still with bananas but I have noticed a huge change in my kids and so one of the bigger reasons now is because of medical concerns being able to be home with them in case there's an emergency or they're in a small group of people and of course with COVID I wasn't really comfortable sending them to potentially be exposed especially with their um, you know extra complications if I if I may but it's so funny and this year has definitely not been the easiest. Um, there's been a lot of, like a lot of struggles. I think in some ways homeschool is hard. And if anybody tells you it's not hard, then I feel like they're not being honest. But I have been, I'm like looking through their stuff cause we're starting to kind of get ready to wrap up for the year. And I am amazed at how much they've grown, how much they've learned and just how much more time as a family we've had to where I feel like this is the right thing for our family. And so I hope that was helpful. And so if any of you other moms are homeschooling, why don't you tell me why you've decided to homeschool in the comments below. And also let's encourage each other as we all go on this crazy journey that we call life and homeschooling. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.